If you're a new Amazon seller looking to find your first profitable product, then this video is for you. This video is going to be a full step-by-step -step beginner's guide to SellerAmp SAS for Amazon FBA, fully updated for 2025. That's going to show you the pricing, how to use it, and how to use SellerAmp to find your first profitable products ASAP, even if you're a complete beginner starting from scratch. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So to start off, we're here on the SellerAmp website to go over the actual pricing for SellerAmp. So if you want to save some money, you can go to the annual plans. If you want to get started monthly, you can go ahead and pay $20 per month for getting started or $30 per month for getting serious. Like I said, the annual plans are going to give you an increased savings. We're pretty serious about this business right there. You should probably get started with the annual plans right here. The big difference between getting started and getting serious is going to be the amount of lookups per month of basically individual products you'll analyze. Getting started is gonna give you up to a thousand lookups per month and getting serious is gonna give you unlimited lookups right there. So if you're just a beginner, you might wanna go with getting serious here obviously and then you can get uh, extra phone app installs and extra Chrome extension installs with the getting serious plan as well. The nice thing is guys is SellerAmp is three tools within one. So SellerAmp is gonna give you the web app, the mobile app for retail arbitrage, as well as the Chrome extension, what we're going to be using today for online arbitrage here. And the nice thing is you can also try two weeks completely free on our website, selleramp.com. So now we're here on an Amazon product page, and I'm going to go show you guys how to actually use the Selleramp Chrome extension for product research. The mobile app and the web app are the exact same thing, but obviously we're doing all in arbitrage today here. So taking a look at this item right here, we can see right off the bat, the buy box on this product is 54 bucks here. We can see once we get Selleramp downloaded in our Google Chrome, we can actually move it around here. It's actually heavily debated in our Facebook group and on Amazon Twitter where this actually goes right here. We can join our free Facebook group as well. Right Right, so we can see. So what SellerAmp actually does, guys, it does the heavy lifting in terms of calculating the Amazon fees, the shipping, and everything like that. So obviously, it would be super a pain to not know, okay, sure, you plug in your purchase cost on a product to know if it's profitable to sell on Amazon and how fast it sells. But what if there you didn't know like the sales tax, the Amazon fees, and everything like that here? So we can take a look at this specific item right here and see that it's buy boxing for $54 on Amazon right here, right? Which is the buy box. And then we can see SellerAmp's actually going to show us how fast the product sells and if it's profitable here, just zooming in. So you want to make sure that either the BSR, the aka the sales rank, how fast the product sells is either under 200K or if the estimated sales per month is over 30 or 50 per month right here. So we can see, even though the sales rank's not amazing here, the lower the sales rank, the better, the estimated sales in this product is pretty good, which makes sense for something potentially test order here. But most products you go and buy are gonna be below a 200,000 sales rank right here. So take a look on this item, we can see the velocity is good. It's over 50 estimated sales per month. The max cost right here. So this is what we need to, need to plug in in order to be profitable right here. Now, if we go to our seller amp settings here, guys, just go to log in here. Here, then just go to settings right here. There are some settings we want to set up as well, just in the back end here prior to sourcing. So you want to make sure you put inbound FBA shipping of 80 cents per pound. That way, SellerAmp accurately calculates shipping in the equation right here. And then you want to go ahead to quick info and select all five of these options right here. I believe profit margin and ROI aren't automatically selected right there as well. And then you also want to go down here and plug in the specific sales tax for your state. So make sure if you're not using a prep center, which pretty much no beginners are, you put zero right here for prep fee, zero right here for MISC fee, and then put in your state sales tax. So I'll put in like 8.25% as if I was in Texas right here, but make sure your settings are accurate. It's super, super important right here, right? So taking a look here, if I plug in that max cost, that leaves us at a 30% ROI because our basic product research criteria, guys, is making sure the velocity is good via the BSR or estimated sales or both, right? And then making sure we're making over $3 profit per unit and over a 30% return on investment. So when I plug in 31 right here, right, or $30.83, that's why it shows a 30% ROI directly right here. The cool thing is over on the Jelly Cat website, we can actually buy this for for 28 bucks right here. And after everything, that leaves $12 profit and a 44% ROI. And that's after sales tax, that's after shipping to Amazon, that's after the Amazon fees, that's after the product cost, literally everything. So SellerAmp does a lot of the heavy lifting for you on that. And then we can also go ahead and see some more kind of averages here. So like the BSR, whether Amazon's been on it or not right here as well. The estimated time to sale right here, the estimated sales and everything over different periods. For the most part that you get a lot of the relevant information for a specific product on the quick info here as well. 
right? We can see the alerts. So it's really important that you don't automatically avoid listings that say suspected private label or suspected IP analysis. What you need to do if it says suspected private label is understand that it, it automatically shows private label for low competition listings. And then you just need to look at the sellers in a listing by scrolling down or here and see if those sellers are the brand. So if any of these were Jelly Cat, if there were just one seller, we would want to avoid that right here. And then for IP complaints potentially right here, we would need to scroll down to the chart and hit all and then see if there were any instances where this offer count, the bottom chart randomly just plummeted down to zero from like 10 hours or whatever, right? So you want to make sure you avoid listings that look like that. But we can see the chart here. For the most part, you just want to take a look at the three-month data, although we do show you data over the entire history of a specific product right there, right? So we can take a look. The monthly sold here, the middle chart is going to be how much this product actually sells. And then the top chart is going to show the buy box price over time, which is really important because we want to avoid listings where the price is shooting down. In this case, we can see nice and steady right there, as well as the offer count movement right here, which is the seller count, aka the competition. We want to make sure that's not shooting up. It's going up a little bit here. We can see going from like 11 to like 12, 13, 14 this month isn't much, but say it was like six a month ago, and then it was like 30 now, the price is probably shooting down. And that's a listing we want to avoid right here. So this chart data is really, really helpful. It's literally the exact same thing on the mobile app for retail arbitrage. And remember, it's all included in one subscription there as well, guys, too. Then we can take a look at a detailed breakdown of the prof calculator with all the fees and stuff in here as well. You can take a look at these specific breakdowns. So you don't need to worry about that much. Where beginners go wrong with this kind of stuff here is they don't take into account merchant fulfilled shipping cost if you want to do merchant fulfilled on specific procs. So most of the time we're going to talk about Amazon FBA on our channel, but but luckily at the same time, you run the same product, you can do FBM, which is shipping products directly to the customer rather than FBA fulfillment by Amazon, where you ship the products off in bulk to the Amazon warehouse. And a lot of beginners think the way to calculate FBM cost and FBM profit is just subtract profit from this. It's not at all there. What you need to actually do is scroll down here and filter over to fulfillment type FBA, and then make sure you plug in the FBM cost, which is the actual FBM shipping cost directly to the customer. Because with FBA, we ship the products off in bulk to Amazon. So we save a lot on shipping, but with FBM, we ship it directly to the customer. So we do pay individual shipping, but the nice thing is there's no FBA fees with that, right? So if you want a full breakdown on FBM costs, go to howtofbm.com. It's completely free right there. And all we need to do is grab the weight of this product. So we can see it's one ounce. It's going to ship for like four bucks. Howtofbm.com is that full guide right there. And we can see this product actually is pretty synonymous profit-wise FBA and FBM, which makes sense. In this case, uh, we can see if there were variations on a specific product, you can add notes to specific products here. Personally, I didn't use that a ton, but that is a good feature here. The offers tab we'll come back to in a sec here. Google Sheets, this is really helpful and I actually just made a video for the Selleram channel a week or so ago um, in terms of posting it that shows you how to use Selleram Google Sheets. It's really, really helpful there in terms of time-saving hacks. So all the time you come across listings that are almost good, but they're you know not quite there profit-wise or they're really profitable, but they're out of stock and so many beginners let those listings go. No, don't do that, right? Instead, add them to a Selleram Google Sheet to come back to them in the future, it's really easy to set those up just using the Google Sheets feature on selleramp.com, just in the settings right there as well. So that's really helpful too. And then it typically don't end up doing much down here, but you could add a product to Seller Central, check for ungating, et cetera, right there. You can see the history on a specific product as well as the buy box analysis here, which shows what sellers are getting buy box, how frequently, and what fulfillment type over 30, 90, 180, and the all time on a specific product. You typically just want to look at the 30 day data right here and then go ahead and filter to last one to see what fulfillment types and price points are typically winning buy box. And the nice thing is you can see the buy box is rotating throughout the day. So literally just in the last seven hours here, four different sellers have gotten buy box at four different price points as low as $49 and 66 cents and as high as uh, $54 and 36 cents right there. Right. And just a little pro tip here. When you see a seller in the buy box that is FBM, so this, we can see this product does not ship from Amazon ships from the seller, right? We know we can price that higher FBA, taking advantage of what's called the prime bump right here. So I get asked all the time, like when you find a product, how many do you buy? Typically five to 10. If you need to get ungated, just watch our ungained tour on my channel here. And then when you actually price your products, FBM, just match the buy box here. And FBA, you want to make sure you price a little bit above the buy box. And we can literally do calculations right here, adding like 5% or 10% right there. 
gets more profit right there. So in terms of actually using Selleramp to analyze procs, that's basically that, but you need to find some winning procs before you can actually analyze them. And so many beginners have that completely backwards. They think the best way to find procs is to just go to random websites and check the procs over on Amazon. What makes significantly more sense, guys, is actually just staying on the Amazon side of things and using Selleramp to basically spy and look inside the storefronts of other sellers to see all the stuff they see they have that sells quick here. So what I actually need to do is go over on Selleramp and take a look at the other sellers that have like 25 plus reviews here to see who's making money on this stuff, right? I'm not worried about sellers that are just getting the ball around here, but they got you know, 142 reviews, 225 reviews, et cetera here. We can take a look at these guys. The nice thing is reviews don't matter really that much for getting buy box, literally not much at all. It's all about pricing and making sure inventory is actually checked in there, right? But reviews are a good metric to see how much money someone's making and to know if they're a good person to potentially storefront stock. So now we can see these sellers inside seller MP or their storefronts. We can see all the different brands they carry, all the different categories they carry and all their fastest selling winning procs here. Then we can go ahead and identify the ones that are moving quick that have like under a 200K BSRs. For example, 109K, that looks pretty good or 30 plus estimated sales months. We can see 76K, that looks pretty good right here. This is a red BSR just because video games are a really small category here. So we can take a look at those as well. Right, we can see these guys. Yeah, Sunny Angels, literally, yeah, 900 a month. It's moving well. And the nice thing is we can click to filter into specific brands, click to filter into specific categories here as well. Or we can just scroll through their fastest selling winning proxy. So we can see a 35K rank right there as well. And now we can take a look at the different listings here and see, okay, these are going for 53 right here, right? They got 109K rank, 200 plus per month. Let's go ahead and Google these and just see, okay, what websites carry this proc? So taking a look here. And then if this item is profitable, we're going to plug in the cost price and we're also going to go down and make sure the chart looks good over time right here because it's not just about a listing being good today. We need this listing good over time. So plugging these guys in, we can see right there. Okay, cool. So these are in stock right here at 30 bucks. This actually is a profitable item right here. Ah, they're out of stock. Okay. So you would want to add this to an out of stock spreadsheet in Selleram because plugging in 30 bucks right here, right? And it's actually, a, yeah, FBM seller too. So we can know we could price above that right here. So say we go ahead and plug in like, uh, you know, plus 5%, for example, on this listing, it would actually end up being nice and good right there. We'll get this a little quick refresh right here. But unfortunately, this is a listing that is good it's just out of stock right here. So I want to go ahead and add this to an out of stock spreadsheet just using seller amp here, which makes it unfortunately not something we can make money on today, but something if we're diligent and we're tracking that we can make money on over time right here because buying it for 30, I think the max also like 28 right here would actually end up being profitable there. So on to the next listing right here, we can see max cost is five. So going to go ahead and see if we can make any money on these guys right here, just Googling them right there. Let's see. Yeah. So, okay. A copy that's pre-owned is $19.99. So plug it in 1999 right here. We lose 13 bucks and we would make a negative 64% ROI. So I definitely don't like that here. Right. Let's see. So 40 bucks right here on the buy box, 400 plus bought. That looked good. 76K rank right here. Just want to go ahead and hit the Google button on selling ramp right here as well. We can see, yes, these are 35 on Dick's Sporting Goods. So um, just for sake of example here, if I plug in 35, we can see, yeah, we lose a bunch of money on this. Now, truth be told though, very few items are going to be profitable at the advertised price. Typically, you want to see if there's any coupons. I know on Dick's Sporting Goods, I can actually scroll down here and get 20 off 100 plus. So I've actually used this coupon a bunch. So if I go ahead and plug in, you know, this times four to get it just barely above 100, it looks like we could actually do three right here minus 20 and then divide by three you can do math with and seller which is so helpful here we can see still not good enough right here so that's something we want to pass on right there so obviously not every listing is going to be good and that's all right right here right so let's say 10k rank 900 plus max cost of 13. go ahead and plug these in on google and say hey what websites carry this product here then we take a look here sunny angels 12 dollars 25 cents this looks good right here so yeah 12 dollars 25 cents right there five dollars profit 41% ROI right here. And obviously if you're a beginner thinking, okay, some of these procs are gated, that's completely normal right there, right? And if you can apply for it, you can get ungated and it's just using the big websites here, right? So we have a full ungating tour on our channel as well. We even have some auto ungate source videos, but don't be afraid of gating if you're a beginner seller, right? You can get started with the stuff part-time, even with one to 2K, you don't need five, 10 or 20 grand like you need with Amazon private label or Amazon wholesale here. You can find profitable procs like this Jelly Cat listing that was out of stock or this Sunny Angel proc that's literally chilling here. Yeah, mini angel animal figure four here, right? And we can see right there, boom. Yeah, animal series four right there, same packaging. 
nice and easy right here. It's random in a sealed box. We can see all those different options right there. And that's the name of the game. So that's literally how you use Seller Amp here. We can see the Chrome extension, the mobile app for retail arbitrage. You can get on your phone nice and easy there. And we could go ahead and click open the SaaS web app here. And then we could take a look inside the SaaS web app and see all the different tabs laid out here nice and easy where we take a look. Yeah, look at that. Zooming in the buy box going as high as like 28 right there. And then we're paying $12.50 right there. That's after shipping, fee, sales tax, literally everything. That's the entire process right there. Using Selleramp, we could go ahead and open up the web app. I mainly use the Chrome extension because I'm mainly using online arbitrage. But if you're doing wholesale, maybe you want to see the data a little bit more clear, you could go ahead and use that as as well. And then obviously the mobile app for retail arbitrage when you're in-store scanning products. So that's a beginner's guide to Selleramp, guys. If you have any questions, make sure to let us know down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Go get your two-week free trial of Selleramp on our website, selleramp.com. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.